In this video, we'll be going over how to register with the GWCI app using your computer. First, you're going to open your web browser and you're going to go to gwci.app slash talent. You will enter your cell phone number or whatever number you use to receive text messages. Your phone number will be your user ID in the system. You're then going to create a password. You want to follow all of the instructions at the top to make sure your password is as secure as possible. You will then type in your email address. And again, this email address, just like your phone number that you entered will be used to communicate with you for casting notices and booking details. You want to enter your name, middle initial if you have it, and your last name. And at the bottom of the page, you'll notice language regarding our terms and conditions, privacy policy, terms of use. You can download these to read at your leisure, and once you're done, you can click next. Now here is your main page where you'll be entering your stats. There's 66 possible stats or fields to enter, but you really want to start with the blue ones, which are the required fields. So you're going to start by entering or uploading a photo. To edit the photo, click edit, and you can use the arrows or the magnifying glass icons or the rotation icons to edit your image and click Save. Then you're going to scroll down to look at your next fields that you want to enter, and I'm going to concentrate on the required fields. Now to select multiple options on a PC, you would hold down the Control button when you want to select your second option or other additional options, and on a Mac, you would hold down your Command button. Your weight can just be a guesstimate. And make sure you click Save after each section is complete. You want to enter your email address again, the same email address you already entered. And for employment area, this is the area that you're willing to work or report to. I'm going to skip down to this section where you can put in your stage name or your legal name if you entered a different name to initiate your registration. Under miscellaneous, if you happen to have tattoos, it'll lead to additional options in terms of where your tattoo is placed and if you can obtain clearance for it from your original tattoo artist. Again, hitting save after each section is complete to your satisfaction. We definitely encourage you to enter your sizes even though they are not required fields. It helps in the casting process when looking for people for period projects to fit period costumes or when searching for photo doubles or stand-ins. Now I'm gonna skip down to union info. If you are a member of SAG-AFTRA, you want to make sure to enter your SAG-AFTRA ID number. And I'm also going to indicate that I am not a member of equity. Now, once you've entered all the required fields, this will pop up, which lets you go ahead to our open roles, which are the roles we're currently casting for, or you can hit OK if you want to continue entering additional information. So I'm going to go down to this wardrobe section and see if there's anything that I have that applies. And I do have a formal gown, so I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom 
to this red section and click on open roles. This is where our current projects that we're casting for will appear and you can um, submit yourself for them. We'll have a future tutorial about that, but we'll skip down to the bottom where it says need help. You can click on that and it'll have various questions and answers for you that should help in the process for doing background work and for entering yourself in our app. Here is how to determine your sizes. This is useful if you don't know your clothing sizes. And I'll click back and show you another section of um, how or what types of photos you should upload. Now, if your issue is not resolved by going through these questions, you can click on create a new ticket to resolve a specific issue not covered.